Hello and welcome to Tech Raven. I'm Nigel and today I'm going to show you the quickest and by far the simplest way and most importantly it's free of culling images on your Mac. So I'm just going to pop in an SD card into my card reader that's plugged into the computer and as you can see it's brought it up here. These are some uh, shots from a shoot I did on a Canon R6 Mark II recently. I'm just going to open this out here, double click on this line, double click here and just double click on that line and this is basically going to bring up all the images that I shot so you can see I've got all my CR3 files here now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to explain that you know lots of people use photo mechanic and various other um, image culling software packages now I had photo mechanic for a little while but after about three days of using it I just couldn't see the point because it seemed convoluted and all it does is stick all these extra XMP files um, all over your hard drive and it just seems like cluttery and pointless. Now I know Lightroom has got its own way of culling um, but we all know the big boys use Capture One which is what I'm using here. Okay so just quickly just while I'm talking about Capture One and I've actually got my recording window here set to 1920 by 1080 so you can't see all of this Capture One window uh, but in Capture One if you put an SD card in you can just go and find it on your desktop um, I've just selected a folder here and then you can click cull up here and when you click this it just basically brings up this extra window and then you can do things like click enable groups and that will find lots of shots that are similar and then you can just in capture one for example you can just go through and select all the ones you want and just cull them that way so um, that's a way of doing it in capture one which is nice and quick and easy um, again Lightroom's got a similar sort of method so let's just get back to doing it the simple way on the Mac with no software at all now if you're a Mac user like me then this is by far the cleanest and quickest way of culling images so as you can see I've basically just put the um, card the SD card into my computer here and all you do is when you double click on it um, you can basically use the up down keys on your keyboard and you can see the images here on the right now if these aren't big enough you can hit the space bar and that will basically bring up a larger version that you can actually resize to any size you want so I'm just going to basically resize this so it fits this window nice and big but so I can still see the file names here on the left so I'm just going to actually bring this down to about this size and again I'm just using the up down keys on the keyboard now so I go through the images and when I see one I like I simply right click on it and I just go and give it a color any of these colors I'm just going to basically give this green um, as in go and I'm just going to keep going until I find another image that I like so I'm just scrolling through them here one at a time again just sort of using the keyboard so you know just for argument's sake I'm just going to pick a couple of random ones I think okay I like that one I'll make that green um, keep clicking through uh, yeah not too keen on any of these really um, okay I'm going to go back up to that one that one's okay so I'm just going to make that green too and you can actually scroll up and down on here also again I'm just going to keep going through some of these Uh, yeah not too keen on any of these this is why as a photographer I don't like to shoot off hundreds and hundreds of shots on any given shoot because I don't like the idea of like culling like crazy um, later I'm going to pick that one that's okay as well just going to keep going a bit here um, again you can go up and down with these arrow keys I'm going to pick that um, and here we go I'll pick that one as well again I'm just going to scroll up go back to there um, yeah I'll have that one too that's okay um, keep going here yeah, I'm gonna go yeah that one's quite good go back to that and again I'm doing this in real time this is about how quick I would actually cull images if I was doing this for real so uh, you're actually seeing it as I would probably do it for real just got to wait sometimes for some of these CR3 files to load up. I'll go for that one. Again, green. Right, um, I'm just going to scroll down just to get some other images from about here. Uh, just so I've got a bit of variation. Uh, let's see, go for that one. 
Um, anyway, you get the idea. I'm just basically going through these and clicking them. So once I've got all the images I want, I then just click that, get rid of it. And then I've got these green ones all selected. And all you do is you click up here and you go to tags and then it will basically then list them all by tags. So you've now got them all separated. So if I just make this window a little bit smaller, create a new folder here, I can then just select all of these by clicking on the first one to the last and I can just drag those all out and drop them into that folder and that's it. It's copied them across. So I can now get rid of that. I can eject the original SD card and then just name this um, folder, whatever I want to name it, by um, clicking on it once and then clicking on it again and images. I know it's a silly title, but there you have it. And then if I double click it, I've got my images that have been called. So for me, that is just by far the quickest and simplest way to cull images if you are on a Mac without needing any extra software. Admittedly, there might be a few photographers that need some of the features that things like Photo Mechanic gives, but for just a quick cull that's simple and clean, and it's already built into the Apple, it's just basically the finder here. So it's a very simple and quick way of culling images. Okay, hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.